So John, one of the hardest areas to even talk about are politics and how business plays into politics or how politics influence business. But I have to say a lot of my friends in business out there are very afraid of, you know, getting outside their comfort zone. Um, they want to fly under the radar because when they hear politics and taking a stand, whether we're Christians and running our business like Christians, there's a lot of fear out there. So how can you address that and maybe make other business owners comfortable at um, standing behind their civil liberties. Here, here's the thing, if, if Christians aren't standing up for their values in the public square, uh, those who don't hold Christian values clearly are. And if there is a silence, that vacuum is going to be filled by a different perspective on things. And what we have seen increasingly is that that perspective then turns around and threatens the freedoms that Christians have, their ability to live out their deeply held beliefs uh, in the way that they run their business, in the way that they treat their customers, and in the way that they hire and train their employees. And so there's a lot at stake. Then it, it makes an enormous difference, which is why if Christians aren't, that are in the business space aren't living out and courageously standing up for what's true and what's good, somebody else is. So how do you encourage people who are afraid of being mocked and, and made fun of? And, you know, I know the disciples worried about that and they were human and, and they were chosen because of their humanness, but it, it doesn't take away the fear. So it doesn't take away the how fear. How do we deal with the fear and knowing and standing in truth if we can get over the fear that you're right, temporarily it might be uncomfortable, but I want to be known for standing up for religious civil liberties. And you know, I think your willingness to stand up is gonna help other people stand up. And I think we all need to see our own responsibility in that light, in the light of what it's gonna do for others. A German sociologist studied why it was that so many Germans stayed silent in the face of this growing insanity that was the Third Reich. When a lot of people did think Hitler was crazy and they thought that those values were completely irrational and harmful, why did they not speak up? And the, the, this, the, the, the word that was coined is the spiral of silence. Mm -hmm. And when somebody is silent and there's social pressure, when the social costs are too high, then somebody else stays silent, somebody else stays silent. And uh, what's the solution to the spiral of silence? Somebody speaking up. I know it's, it sounds really simple. As my uh, you know, good friend in Tennessee used to say, it ain't rocket surgery. You know, <laughs> somebody stands up and then somebody else stands up and then somebody else stands up. And I think we need to think about that.